We're in Winter Park, which is near Orlando in Florida, Central Florida, and Rise Women's Wrestling. This thing has man, been going strong, doing its thing. This is an all women's wrestling group, and the man behind the scenes, the man leading all, Kevin Harvey, is here in South Florida at 2.0, which is where you're having a big event tonight. So first of all, tell us about Rise. Well, here's what you need to know about Rise. It is a company focused on developing tomorrow's women athletes. That's where the DTWA comes in. We have world-class development seminars. We put on live events where we showcase talents from those seminars that we pick that day and put them in the ring with talents like, say, a Mercedes Martinez or some of today's best to help develop tomorrow's brightest. How did this idea come about, Kevin? One part necessity, one part creativity. Uh, you've got to rewind the clock to summer of 2016. Rumors were abound that WWE was going to do something with a women's tournament or possibly get a lot more invested in their women's division, possibly, very realistically, signing a lot of talents. And I've worked with Shimmer Women Athletes for almost its entire uh, run as a company and very good friends with Dave Prezak. And I sat down with Dave and said, look, looking ahead, we might be six to 18 months from being in a very bad spot for talent availability. I've got this idea where what if we did like a seminar show, tried it out, see if there's some girls out there that we might not meet otherwise and put them on this different scale of a show and see what we can get for Rise and see what we can get for Shimmer. And it, the first seminar had 40 girls turn up. And of those, I think only two of them I knew before that day. What has Shimmer and had its mark on professional wrestling because we obviously we hear so much what's going on with women's wrestling shimmer's been around a while so just tell us there about shimmer shimmer's been around since november of 2005 founded by dave prazak and allison danger because they identified a need that there was something that needed to be done to emphasize athletics in women's professional wrestling to truly showcase the in-ring talents of the women because and i'm not going to try to throw rocks here but women's wrestling hasn't always been seriously, prominently featured on television. They wanted to change that. And what started in front of probably 100 or so people at that first show, I don't know the numbers offhand, but now basically every time we're in home base in the Berwyn Eagles Club for Shimmer, we've sold out nearly every time for the last couple of years because the fans know that they can count on seeing the best women athletes in the world in Shimmer. And you've had a lot of great talent that has come through to Shimmer. And it needs to be noted that Shimmer has been a big influence on this evolution or revolution of women's wrestling. Kevin, tell us about what happened today. You had a special guest doing a seminar with the women here at 2.0, and there's a show tonight. Just tell us about that and what's going on tonight. We did this whole day. We are calling a nice day in Orlando with special guest Mick Foley, the legendary Hall of Famer himself. Mrs. Foley's baby boy just gave ended up being about a three and a half hour seminar for the ladies of Rise here in Orlando and then some other folks from local schools and things that we are uh, that we partnered up with to just try to get as many girls as we could in front of Mick to gain his knowledge, his perspective from today. And then tonight, part two, we're taping several episodes, four episodes in all of Rise Ascent that will be aired on riseascent.com in the coming weeks. And we're gonna showcase some of the talents that we've seen before. We got a couple debuts and at least one or two that might surprise some folks here tonight in Winter Park, Florida. And Kevin, about Rise, what have you felt really good about what's been going on here? And also tell us about, are the talents being trained by women's, res women's wrestlers or are they trained by men and women? Are they coming from all over? How does that work for development process? It works a lot of different ways. And for, for Rise, for me, the, the good moments for Rise for me have nothing to do with me being a part of the crowd or anything like that. The good moments for me are six girls in front of a sold out crowd in Los Angeles, California, unbeknownst to them at that moment that they're going to Japan to wrestle for start one of the top women's companies in the world, the top company in Japan. Moments like in Houston when Booker T, Soraya Knight, Dave Prezak and myself let AQA, who still hadn't even been wrestling a year yet, know that she pressed us all that she's the newest member of the Rise roster and she'll be making her Shimmer debut as well coming up here in March. But those are the moments really for why Rise exists, when we can truly say these are talents that something about our program offered value to them, whether it was getting line of sight or getting them additional training to better their skills, their career. Because we, we don't do this for us. We, we truly do this for them and for the future of professional wrestling. And lastly, what is Mercedes Martinez meant to Rise? Everything. 
it's the cop-out answer. And she's walking up right now, and I swear I'm not saying this just because she's walking up right now. Mercedes Martinez means the world to rise. When you look at her, her time in professional wrestling, in my opinion, the gold standard of what a women's professional wrestler in 2019 should be, from the quality of her matches, the way she carries herself in and out of that ring, the way she trains the girl. She is such an important cog in the machine that is rise. And she knows what we're trying to do. She knows what her job is here. Yes, she is the current Phoenix of Rise champion. Some people aren't as happy about that because why does a veteran wrestler, the likes of Mercedes Martinez, need a, need this championship of a rookie company? Well, let's just think about what that means for the talents that not only get to wrestle Mercedes, what's that do for that talent? Maybe, just maybe one day, beat one of the best in the game in 2019. Took a chance on a seminar, and they just beat Mercedes Martinez for what is now becoming one of the more aspired to titles in women's wrestling. So Mercedes, this company would not be here without people like Mercedes Martinez, Soraya Knight, Medusa, Aja Kong, Bull Nakano, and I could drop a myriad of names, but I'll save you the time. Mercedes Martinez, to me, is women's wrestling in Rise and Shimmer the world over. How can we find out about Rise? For Rise, you can follow us on all of our social media at RiseDTWA. You can subscribe to our streaming service for $4.99 a month at RiseAscent.com or our apps on iOS and Android. You can also find us on Twitch where you can subscribe and get almost all of that same content and our primary company website, Rise-Wrestling.com. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you.